Pandemic coronavirus affects almost all systems of our body. If any sickness or symptoms arise, we all think it is because of novel coronavirus in this situation. So, what are the most common signs and symptoms of the COVID-19 disease that we must know? Here I take you through several most common signs and symptoms of the coronavirus infection and others that follow. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and be a part of my YouTube family. Fever It is the most common symptom present in around 8-3-9% to to of the COVID-19 cases. Older people and those with health problems may experience fever later in the disease. In one study, 44% of the people had a fever when they presented to the hospital, while 89% went on to develop fever at some point during their hospitalization. Number 2 is cough, which is present in around 59-82% to of the cases. Number 3, loss of appetite, present in around 40-84% to of the cases. Number 4, fatigue, which is present in around 44-70% to of the cases. Number 5, shortness of breath or difficulty in breathing, present in around 31-40% to of the cases. Number 6, Coughing with a sputum or a sputum production present in around 28 to 33 percent, and the muscle aches and the pains, which are present in 11 to 35 percent. These findings were also supported by the other studies. Other less common symptoms include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. These symptoms are observed in varying percentages. Sneezing, runny nose, or sore throat. Disturbance in taste or decreased sense of smell. In South Korea, loss of smell was present in 30% of the confirmed cases of the COVID-19 disease. In addition, remember, a minority of cases do not develop noticeable symptoms at any point in time. These asymptomatic carriers tend not to get tested and their role in transmission is not fully known. However, Preliminary evidence suggests they may contribute to spread of the disease. In March 2020, the Korea Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reported that 20% of the confirmed cases remained asymptomatic during their hospital stay. So, when you develop any one of the above symptoms mentioned, call your doctor. That's it for this video. Stay safe. God bless you all.